Hey, what's up, guys? So I was listening to Romans 7, right? And Romans 7 is talking about a spouse dying and, and the other spouse no longer, um, you know, being bound by that marriage because the spouse died. And then it connects it to us and how we died to our old self, to our old life, to our old ways in Christ. And it's telling us that since we have died to our old selves and we can walk away from the old us, from our old ways, from our old patterns of thinking, our old old desires and preferences and, and, and passions and goals and, and vision and dreams and all that stuff, guys, we can now live for God. The Bible says that we've died, right? And we have become new creations. We have become the new man created to God according to true righteousness and holiness. The Bible says that we have been born again, right? That we are those who were crucified with Christ, buried with Christ through baptism so that we can no longer live for ourselves, but instead deny ourselves and, ha and allow the Lord to live through us. That's why it says you've been crucified with Christ and it's no longer you who lives, but Christ who lives in you. Why? Because sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. We are supposed to allow the Lord to lead us, to order our steps, to live through us, to have his way through us. And it says in Romans 7, guys, this is key. This is major. Check it out. You have died, why? In order to bear fruit to God. So today, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever it is that you do as a nine to five, don't ever forget that your true purpose for living and calling, the true reason why you're born again, you're a new creation, you must walk away from the old you is so that you bear fruit to God that you do the works God wants you to do, that you live the life that he wants you to live, that you bear the fruit of the spirit that glorifies God and exalts the name of Jesus. That is your purpose. That is your calling. That's why you were dead to the old you, to your old life. And Jesus says, consider God your father, nobody else. So remember that you are now a child of God and that Whatever inheritance you thought you had, whatever DNA you thought was passed on to you, whatever characteristics, attributes, right, you learned and you got from your old family, throw those things away, learn from God, remember that you are now a new creation and your purpose in this life, in this world, is to live for God. It says to bear fruit to God. God. We died to bear fruit to God. We've been born again to bear fruit to God. Read Romans 7, read Romans 8, and just get refreshed with the truth of who you now are, now are and why you now are to live for God, to bear fruit to God. Let go of the old you. The old you was nothing but flesh, carnality, evil and wickedness, selfishness, pride, self-preservation. Now, just hold on to the new you in Christ. It says continue in the faith, press forward and press toward, toward the mark, toward the goal. Run the race that is set before you. Lay aside the weight and the sin that so easily ensnares you and entangles you and traps you up and slows you down and becomes an obstacle for you. Huh? And it says, it says walk by faith, not by sight. Forget the past. Forget who you used to be. You, the old you, died, and now you are new. Why? So that you can bear fruit to God and stop thinking that you need to be loyal to the old you or that the old you, you're still married to the old you. No, no, no. Jesus said, your spouse dies, you're no longer bound by that covenant. The old you died, you're no longer bound to your old life, to your old identity, to your old sinful nature. Yeah, you still have sinful flesh, but the Spirit of God is in you now. You are a son of God now, and you are under grace in the new covenant now, and you must follow the commands, the teachings, the, 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 the words of Jesus Christ, your Lord, your King, your Savior. He's not only a Savior, but He's your master, your teacher, and your King, your Lord, your president, your emperor, your, your owner, your master, whatever you want to call him, he has all the authority over you. He has full rights over you, and he has told you to do something. And guess what? Since you call yourself his follower, since you've been born again uh, in, into a child of God, you must do what he says. And what's that? He 
says you've been born again. You die to the old you so that you can bear fruit for me, so that you can do my will. So do God's will today. Remember why you're here, to bear fruit to God. Not your own fruit, but the fruit that the Holy Spirit in you empowers you to bear so that you can glorify God and his will can be done in your life wherever you go. Amen. Love you guys. Don't ever forget that you died to the old you and that you are a new creation and you are new in order to live for God and glorify him and bear fruit to him, not anybody else. Amen. Like this video, share this video, share it on your, on your news feed and on your story so that it can bless somebody and remind somebody with the truth of God that they must bear fruit to him and that they have died to the old them because there's a whole lot of people still thinking they're the old them and still trying to live according to what they used to do and what they learned in the past. But no, God's teaching us another way and it's the way. Amen.